Good evening, everyone. Tonight we're going to do Civilization Revolution with the French. Let's get started. Hey, good evening, Killer B. What's going on, man? We're going to try to have a good game with the French tonight. We're going to do a non-domination victory. And try to get a good time with an underpowered civilization. So let's see what we can do with them. They start with a beautiful cathedral and pottery. What more could you ask for? Half price roads, cannons, riflemen. Not that great, but that's alright. We're going to try to do our best. Kick some butt. Shoo, look at all those mountains. The Romans. believe the Romans may be really close to me. How far is that? It's right next to this mountain. Yeah, they are right here. Do I know this map? I... No. Kinda. It looks similar to another map. So what, they're right here? I had to rush him last turn. Let me run around a little bit. Wow, are you serious? The AI didn't retreat into the city? I thought they would. Dude, I was hitting left bumper. Yeah, that was pretty strange. Man, there are a lot of huts here. If I have code of laws, do I even necessarily need? Tough question.
hate when I have to share three trees like this. How many artifacts are in this game? Strabo, Strabo. <laughs> Should I go for it? I'm going to go ahead and sell Code of Laws here, of course. Oh, I think I don't, need, don't even really need that. He'll take pottery. The same amount. Wow, this guy's got some decent money. That was a hell of a lot of money that guy just gave me. That was a lot of money from barbarians. That's from the uh, Mongols, rather. That's pretty unusual. They usually don't have money on hand like that. Come on. What? Why do I get to attack again? That was weird. Take it.
This is one of those donut maps. That's what it looks like. All right, this is a non-domination victory. This is my ex initial expansion phase. It's a boat. Is it a boat? Yeah, no boat. Uh, one ancient artifact. What is with this game? Why they hate me, yo? That is not not quite gangster at all. Ooh. Yeah, if it's one, it's only Atlantis. Really? I don't know what the deal is. Got bronze working, too. That was gangsta. Gangsta. Okay, now where? <laughs> Let's get alphabet, and then we can start thinking about expanding. I don't like to expand until it's five. Until you have medieval era. Is that weird? I like the three population. I feel like it's better to just rip, knock out those 20 beaker techs and then get the three population. Because it happens so fast. Well, it's going to have to be 10. So two AIs left. a river <coughs> all right so we're crossing into medieval um, see if we can pick up some of these currency would be nice Currency's always nice. Maybe, maybe not. Depends how things go. If you get a great explorer, maybe worth it. Depends what our first great person is. It should be coming up pretty soon. Caravan? Love caravans. So handy. Hmm. 
Interesting. I might have to split this army up. Rather than armying up right now, I'm going to have to spread them out. Just because these huts are just all over the place. Is this a dead end? Yep. Oh well. Well, it's going to take too long to get over here. So maybe I'll at least explore what's over here. Civ 6, my honest opinion, pretty cool, really nice design, really, uh, everything looks really slick. The only problem is, I just feel like I'm making a lot of decisions that don't matter. I feel like it's just like, the gameplay is so complicated. But the problem with that is when a game gets really complicated, you're usually that usually means you're making a lot of decisions that don't matter. That's what it really means. And I never feel that way <coughs> in Civilization Revolution. I feel like even with the culture and stuff, even though culture is not that worthwhile, it's like not, doesn't feel totally inconsequential either. It does factor in. Okay, we need to end the turn. I think it would take a while to develop enough understanding to even appreciate the game because you're just so disoriented while you're playing. It's hard to get a... Um, it's hard to, like, develop... It takes a long time to develop, like, a comfort zone of what you know and what you don't know. Wow, look at that. Yeah, it went so smoothly that it makes me think that I should make it a little bit harder <laughs> it was too easy i was thinking um disallow buying techs and try it on a random map instead that would be even more interesting and a lot harder here we go again
guy's gonna help me out. Go ahead and attack that for me, buddy. <laughs> Pottery only tech victory. Yeah. As you can see, I'm changing course here. Found out the Japanese are a little closer than I thought they would be. So I might pop out another horse to help. Yeah, I just want to get one horse over there. Yeah, it, it's definitely possible to get the Japanese. They're like the worst defenders in the game. Wow. A horse. That helps me a lot. Five techs? Alright, what do they have that I don't? I'm working ceremonial. Thanks, buddy. I wish it didn't do that. I wish it would have put that boat on the south side. It kind of did not help me. anything I've learned when you're trying to conquer cities you definitely don't want to get lazy you have to throw everything you can to make sure that they're eliminated one two three four five yeah They are growing their city like it's their job right now. I really want some horses. Maybe just one. Plus, I can get another settler here. Let's just do one horse. I think that'll help speed up my gold collection around here. So, sold him a ton of tech and cashed in that uh, caravan. But it's going to give me a settler, so that's cool. Key Two settlers. Ooh. 
Hooey? What? Popping them out, boys. Popping them out. Oh! Oh! See? Are you serious? Oh, thank God. Everything's okay. Hip hua. Follow follow. This wouldn't be a bad little spot. There's a fish up here. Let's go and make use of that. Cattle. This could be a good little spot for uh, pumping out settlers. We got cattle and trees, so that could be pretty good. Pop one down here, and probably one over here. We'll get that whale on the other side. Don't worry about that. and a whale down there. Very nice. So in two turns we can see what kind of resources we got over here. What, the whale? Yeah, right here. Put one right here. Boom. Oh, you're right. <laughs> this stupid city. Oh well, at least I get early fish access. 
What a bummer. I'll build a courthouse. It's totally worth it. Die, whale, cattle. Yeah, look at that. The fill in over here. Oosham, Onam Group. Yeah, that would be a really nice die city over there. So I might have to take advantage of that one. Slabble hair toggle man. Could be dangerous. Yeah, I think the Japanese are pretty consistent about that now. I've, we've caught them with their pants down so many times. Ah, my wife woke up. Good evening, morning, honey. She was, the wife was taking a little nap. <laughs> 18 riflemen army in there. Ooh, I gotta take advantage of that. That's a nice little island right there. Can I expand from? What? Nowhere? What the hell? Are you serious? That was not good. Need a spot where I can just pump out settlers.
Like this ain't a bad spot. <coughs> I need trees. I need trees. The warrior shot the food. All this incense. I have this stupid tickle in my throat, man. So annoying. <coughs> it's a cough, but it's not like really a cough. It's just this single cough. It's so annoying. I want to just settle right here. I don't really want to run all over the place, to be honest. Hip walk. It's a little bit messy. More overlap than I'd like, but gonna have to do it. I wonder where the remaining sieve is right now. Got a double whale city right here. But I think I should use that from here, not so much from here. So, well, problem is, the best city I have, ri well, and I just don't have time to get a guy over there. I really don't. Like, really, it would be better to get a settler into this island right here. Get him out of here, perhaps. Nope. It's gonna take one more turn. <laughs> May want to hold off on currency for just a little bit for long term benefit. Gold man. So that city that I named Gold, I think I'm actually going to screw that city over <laughs> and uh, end up. giving it all to that island city and making that a nice city instead. Just uh, gonna have to do that. In fact, I'm gonna sell this. It's gonna be painful, but... I 
I know. Try to find the cheapest settlers. These are pretty cheap. Horses will actually be pretty handy. What I can do is you help them, uh, help the settlers get into position and clamp down. Make my expansion a little bit faster. Highest priority right now is just getting this guy on the island. And setting up a city there. That's going to be, I thought this was going to be the gold city, but I think this is going to be the gold city. Could even build a courthouse and make it a little bit better and steal that die if I really wanted to. Alright, anyone else? I don't think so. Uh, let's see here. No, it's not it. All right, we can get currency this turn, so that's cool. As long as we can keep this going, I think we're going to get a pretty nice time here. 
So we'll see. We shall see. At long last. Damn it. I'm gonna have to come back. <laughs> so annoying. That's all right. Looks like all I can do right now. Whoa, who's this? Nobody. All right, so we flip this over to gold here so that we can get our a free market in that city. And it's going to help our expansion out. So let's see here. And we'll get a caravan, market, and money. And now that we have that, what we're going to want to do is get the Great Explorer in there, of course, and get Monarchy. Monarchy, we're going to want to get writing first. to come back for that. <laughs> nice. Some more goodies out here. Oh, is that what it was? You noticed that? Damn, so many horses. Best possible time for a tech victory on a random map? Probably around, uh... I don't know, zero AD, something like that. That'd be my guess. Hey, Dizaug. Doing pretty well, man. Uh, we're having a solid game here with the French, which is a nice change of pace. Damn.
Where? Oh, where? I don't see any really great production spots here. Oh, really? Yeah, America's tough, man. Writing in one turn, so that's a great thing. Doing pretty well in terms of tech here. And we're done. Yep. Stravo. Diga lado. Stravo. So Nev and Monarchy are very high priorities right now. Literacy as well. Literacy is a little higher than Monarchy right now, so let's go for that. Well, let's use this guy first. So he's actually over here. I think they're on an island. I want to get Monarchy before Nav because of my gold uh, island over there. Kind of sparse on trees around here. But, gotta make do. When you want a, an expansion city with lots of production, you kind of want... This could be a good spot. So I might as well hustle on over there. So 
So from this spot right here, I can access three trees. That would be ideal. So let's go ahead and take take advantage of that. Start maneuvering these horses into position. I thought maybe I'd go this way, but I'm thinking that's not really the best way after all. I could sell this guy. I, have to, I should probably get him on the galley. some gold. And find some good expansion spots. Anywhere, anywhere. What about you? This one's okay. Finally got our explorer there. And getting 18 gold, so that's a little bit of an improvement. Got a little more gold, a little more gold here, so may as well expand from here. Anywhere else that is a little better. Forty-eight. Sixty. Plant him right here. That'll be a nice expansion spot as well. So let's see. I'm not getting too much culture, so I might as well go ahead and get that. Travis, I 
Hate when I do this. Ooashom. Hooey. Key rain. Alright, so I can put one over there on the hill, run over here. Run them up here. I see trees I must use. If I can get monarchy here, I pop this. Wish me luck. Could I get something even better than Monarchy? What if I got... Invention? It's a lot more beakers for free, so it may as well. We're getting a great person next turn, and we'll get another one in two turns. It's very nice, very nice. Gotta watch for opportunities to sell things off. You don't always... Oh, awesome. Awesome. A builder. Trade fair? No, it's hard. Trade fair is awesome, but it's... Hard to say no to the East India Company. I still feel East India Company is just so much better. Across, it just helps in so many things instead of just in one city. Who 
the pre hooey Hip hop Onum Group. Hey, it's quiet tonight. Our usual rabble rousers aren't here. All of our thoughtful stri our tacticians are here tonight. We just want to see strategy, Joe. Ah, uh, cool. Yeah, I'm just kind of chilling down here myself, man. Just taking it easy. Finally having a good game with the French. Very thankful for that. It always seemed very difficult. down here uh, not bad man that's a lot of tech Ah, 
Gracias. Question is, do you go irrigation or you get math nav? Because I'm, I'm waiting on that East India Company. The earlier the better. I'm not really hurting quite yet. I'm really hurting for population, so I'm thinking irrigation right now. To 21 cities right now. <coughs> Excuse me. Getting another great person next turn. Oh! Make sure we're uh, taking care of. Yeah, there we go. Make sure we're using all of our dye. What's this clown doing? All right. irrigation let's go for math wow very nice <laughs> getting a lot of goodies in this game we get a nice time here if we use this wisely Um, tech is looking pretty good, but I, I mean, I could roll that into an econ also. So it depends, just depends on how I want to kind of go with that. I have this city, so that's definitely going to help me out. Getting a 33 gold a turn already. That's pretty huge. No need for this guy to expand. We already got one here coming out. So really we only got two final city placements we really need to do. Thinking one here. One here even worth it. 
I don't think so. couple more he's not done quite yet all right I feel like it's never really worth taking advantage of silk and stuff like that. Seems really rare that it's even worth it. Eh. Okay, 127 math. Goals right now, we really have to... Get navigation. And yeah, we should get that in two turns, so. EIC in 500 BC. It's pretty good. Good enough. Pump out one more settler. Let's see if we can do something productive for this guy. Okay. Okay. 
Ram Wenham. Onam Group. Uh, this game's going pretty well. I think we have definitely get a pretty nice time here. I don't think that'll be an issue. In 149 tech in 600 BC. It's about to get nastier too because we're about to get the EIC. And that's going to be really juicy. Juicy! So we shall see. See if there's any nice spots to expand from. Don't see anything right now. That is gangster. Wow. Still don't have the money. Alright. Got a galleon too, so that's cool. <clears throat> Need banking. So here's the key. I I haven't seen the other guy. He's on an island somewhere. I think it's probably Arabs. So the I gotta get banking. And that'll unlock the path to industrialization down here. And then I can use my great scientists to rush industrialization, and then I'll have bananas, gold. But I may have to... Am I going to have to research this? How much? Yeah, if I can get banking, that would be really nice. I think that's the most important thing right now. I don't see anything else. Even though it's not, like, the hottest tech, really. Thank you. Thank you. Now we got industrialization. Kind of a shame I have to kill this oak. I don't know yet. I think econ.
Die Galadun Gassen. Strabo. <laughs> Industrialization, of course. One of the most important texts in this game. And let's build us the EIC. EIC and industrialization in 500 BC. We got a nice, nice little setup right here. Kind of feel like I should rush a settler here. Yeah, Atlantis is in every game. Hip hua, follow follow. situation over here. A lot of things happened right there in one turn, so that was really, really sweet. I don't think I have any way to get corporation quickly anyway. I think it's time to switch to democracy, boys. I feel like the 250 gold milestone should give you something if you already have banking. I feel like it should give you um, railroad or something. Or at least gold or something.
Nice whale over here. We already have knowledge of banking, but okay. Hip walk, he ran. Key rain, key rain. Key rain, key rain. Oh boy. It's the Indians. Yeah, we got 31 cities in uh, 400 BC and EIC, so this is looking nice. Pretty, pretty nice. Holy mackerel. Hip hua. Key rain. That's what you're looking for. Yes, I do. I play multiplayer tomorrow night.
probably guess what I'm doing with this guy. <laughs> no, that's not the plan. Wow. Like in all this die, this will definitely help. Follow, follow. Yeah, can't do that. Whoops. Can't expand from these two population cities anymore. So, could just go for markets. use all this gold to expand. <laughs> I don't really think a city's worth it right here. Hmm. Oh, Strabo, Diga 
Was lager du denn? Gas in Really expand. Darn, there are really only two spots on this city. Hip wallum fallum. Block this guy. Just be a jerk. Ooh, a Shonum group. Six, six, six per turn. Oh no. Not good. Hmm. Gonna have to go through all these cities. Look at me pretending that I want culture. Uh, you go there. Nothing good there. That I guess.
Five ninety four. Nice, pretty nice. problem I have right here is I don't really have a nice production city. <laughs> really use my production cities to make... Like this one could have been it. Could plop on right here. I have done that so many times. Man, that is frustrating. It's supposed to be five population. Just go tech, for heaven's sake. <laughs> I'm in one of those funky games where I can't build a Galleon. Because I have 24 techs. Uh, anyone else? I don't think so. Oh, 
I already have invention. Awesome. Shonum grew. Rain win them. <laughs> Own them. Oh. Follow them. Follow them. <laughs> Who? Whoa. <laughs> Actually, <Follow> nah. <laughs> I don't think this is an econ game after all. <laughs> Some of these cities are set to market though, but some of them they don't have much sea access, so that might be just fine. Yeah, a great builder would be pretty sweet. About to get granaries too in every city. Not really a big deal. Nice to get though. <coughs> Getting to a point where we have more gold than we can even expand with, so that's a nice problem to have. Strabo! <laughs> Plus one science and yeah. We actually can't get advanced flight anyway. We got a corporation. Who 
way. We have two scientists on hand, though. So that's really good. Something worth rushing right now. Atomic Theory is pretty good if I can get that. Atomic Theory Advanced Flight. Those would be two good ones. <coughs> Rush this Legion so that I can use them right now. All right, so we got a dance flight in zero year. Could actually use this bomber to go find some stuff. The worst spot for them to put that. <laughs> really like getting railroad. Kind of need building anyway. Plus two building is really nice. <coughs> Excuse me. It's like I'll need steam power for electricity anyway. Wow, another plus one. Missed my day. Bummer. Why are they popping cities out of this remote? So annoying. Pick the worst spot. All right, how many cities do we have here? 42?
bollum. <laughs> it won't. It always gives the bottom two, unfortunately. I'm sorry, the bottom three. about rushing libraries I mean I'm getting my text in one turn so why would I rush a library I mean almost all of my text I'm getting them in one turn so I'm not sure what that would really buy me at least in this scenario I'm not saying there aren't scenarios where I wouldn't like a library Fifty AD. Damn good for the French. Um, I think we're going for electronics. Gonna rush a stinking cruiser over here. Aha!
itself, pretty much. Oh, Vavin! Echom! Dabbing on Fabi! Dabbing on Fabi! Oh, me! So confused. Oh, Vavin! I like Dabbing on Fabi! I think this is displaying the wrong number. Because of it, land. It's like a bug. Stop off. So I didn't have metallurgy before, so the, this number actually changed. Would love to rush electronics, but it doesn't appear that's going to happen. So 1230 is actually not the right number there. All right, man. See you, King Zorby. <coughs> oh, Flavin. Dabbing on Flavi. Dabbing on Flavi. Dogfin, listen. Stand by. We'll see what we can get here. I might try to get space flight with that. Let's see. Damn. <laughs> oh boy. Oh boy. Won't let me research space flight at the moment. 
but it will next turn. Wow, you have a lot of die there, buddy. This village has revealed the knowledge of space flight. Okay. That's an impressive little village. <laughs> Do I hear nuclear power? Uh, nuclear power. Wow. Space flight, nuclear power. <laughs> Well, I'm trying to figure out who the heck actually has a lot of production. I don't think really anyone has a lot. Anybody? This guy kind of has a lot. <sighs> yeah. Not too much production there, do we? Oh, no.
Followed. This is a world record. Who is world record, baby. Believe so. <laughs> yeah, that's incredible. Isn't this is the best overall time for non domination? Chinese was 500. Four hundred eighty. <laughs> Damn, I didn't get to take this die right here. It's too bad. I guess resetting five hundred times was worth it in the end. <laughs> yeah, that cannon attack, I tell you. Whoa! I had a feeling, uh, I don't know what it is, I feel like one artifact games, you're more likely to get tech from huts. So maybe getting one artifact isn't as bad of, de of a deal as it is after all, because I was like kind of salty about that, but I don't know if that's actually taken into consideration, but it seems to happen to me more often on these one artifact maps. I mean, it was pretty consistent throughout the second half of the game. I was getting tech from huts almost every time. It was 
pretty much every time. Stanky time! That is stanky. Incredible. It's scary. What can the Americans and the Chinese do? The Chinese would kill it. Nice. Should be. Yeah. Alright, so took out Rome, took out the Mongols, and took out Japan. Doesn't get much better than that. And uh, 480 tech victory, that's a new world record for random map free for all deity against the computer. Best uh, overall non domination time. You know, it was just a few months ago, I was. Really, my best time was like 1,200, so it's amazing how you can really take a lot of time off to really focus and dedicate and just iron out the best practices for expansion and early domination and have a few things go your way. It's pretty sick. Pretty sick. Absolutely ridiculous. 480 with the French. That's pretty wild. Well, that's a good, that's GG for the night, boys. I'm gonna get some sleep. Uh, I will also be on tomorrow night. Tonight was an unscheduled broadcast, but I'll be online tomorrow night as well. So I'll see you guys then, hope you can make it. We're gonna do a little multiplayer and see how that goes. Um, ideally, we'll get some folks, we're gonna do a private game, I think. Uh, if no one's interested, we'll do. I'll do a, some ranked to head to head or something like that, so. Thanks for joining up, guys, and I'll see you next time. What I'm going to do is I'm going to send you on over, put you in some good hands here tonight. I'll put you... Uh, let me send you on over to this guy. All right, there you go, guys. I'll host you over there. And I'll see you guys next time. Good night.